President John F. Kennedy popularized the maxim, knowledge is power. In today's information society, that saying is truer than it's ever been before. One of the fundamental symbols of that knowledge in today's society is a high school diploma. In fact, a high school diploma is almost the baseline to get gainful employment in our economy. Here's a disturbing number. Of the 20,000 men and women that leave our penal system this year, around 60% of them will not have a high school diploma. Think about that. With a felony conviction, a spotty employment record, and no high school diploma, they're going to be among the most unemployable people in America. Those who do manage to find work are often the first ones laid off when there's a downturn in the economy or when a company begins to go bad. It's easy for somebody in the HR department to look at that and use it as a line to say they don't have a high school diploma and so they're the first ones that are laid off. Many prison education programs were cut in an effort for us to be tough on crime. And of course, no one wants to be soft on crime. But I don't believe that giving educational opportunities to prisoners is being soft on crime. I believe that it's being short-sighted when we don't give it to them. If we send 12,000 men and women every year back into our communities without the basic tools that they need to get and to keep a job, we are creating an environment for them to go out, reoffend, create new victims, create new ongoing costs for our society. While they are paying their debt to society for the crimes that they've already committed, we have an opportunity. We have an opportunity to give them the tools that they need to live a different kind of life when they get out of prison. Instead of just being tough on crime, it's time that we become smart on crime. It's time that we think beyond where we're at right now and begin to envision a different future, to create different opportunities so that when these men and women go back into our communities, they have what they need to get and to keep a job. Because we know that employment is one of the major factors that will keep people from reoffending. You can find out more at www.gacalls.org.